Do squats. Help me! This is my youngest brother Sean and my, you know, my only son Bomani Dakari. My, my, uh, my son is a boxer and uh, my brother is a wrestler. And my son thinks he's this little tough guy from the suburbs. <laughs> like a foot. And we go. <laughs> So you don't know about all the people that slam when he was in uh, uh, Wingate, right? Yeah. He went to Wingate uh, here in uh, Brooklyn, but I went to Transit Tech uh, in uh, East, uh, East New York, Brooklyn. You know, we, you know, we always appreciate our energy connecting to New York and uh, all the education that we uh, you know, uh, learned here in New York as far as just the, our skills and talents. Uh, you know, it, uh, New York still got one of the best education systems and people literally don't understand that. But uh, we all a prime example of a privilege of New York education, right, Shayna? We all learn from you, New York education. Yeah. We did we did well for ourselves. New York education. Yes, uh, what, what what kind of degree you have? Mathematics degree. Math. I have my master's in math. Here it goes. And Sean, what kind of degree you have? Bachelor. Information And and uh, I myself is a senior dropout right there at Emory Ritter, aviation student. <laughs> We're looking to you know, build professional aeronautics, but I'm telling you, family, it was worth it because all that money I saved, I invested in what you call. <laughs> no, that money I saved because they were gouging me. It's crazy. I, they suck your money, but all that money I saved, I built this business, Africa for the Africans, tours and investment. I built Bomani Technology and Black Star Pan African Community. So that's a sacrifice I made, but uh, what I encourage my generation and my younger brother and sister is to get your degree, get your education, and use it to where we can build our family enterprise. Yes, uh, Damien, yes, yes. You look good, man. You took off the sweater. I like the bike, man. I like your new bike. Thanks to that, um, thanks to the good don't. donations of the good people, man. Yeah, don't say all that stuff recorded, man. <laughs> this a, and this is the craziest person in our family, but it, you know, me and him been through it, man, because we're three years apart. So we had our good times and bad times, but I love it. I love him to death, man. I love every, you know, we all, we love each other, man. Number love. And our appearance is not here. They at uh, work, but they're here, but they're not here. You know what I mean? And they're always working, so that's why we work so hard, because they are always working. Yes. One thing that they Our taught us, man, work ethic. You know what I mean? They ain't raised no, no workless. Are no waste, man. They didn't. They yeah. definitely didn't waste. Yo, me and my brother. You understand me? Remember, we came up here in 88, right? 88. Hey, uh, Sean, can you handle this one? On this Miller thing? Avenue, one of the, one of the, uh, the dangerous blocks in America. You know, but we strive through that. The, the poverty is not even poverty because we didn't, what, you don't, don't, don't show them all our niceness, man. We just do these raw family videos. Yeah, I don't feel yeah, like we I was mean, ever me, poor. We wasn't L poor. L literally, we came from a big house idiot. and all that. Big house. Remember, I was Papa? 11. I was 11, you were 8. 8, yeah. <laughs> 1988. It was, it's a phenomenal family. So yes. we're just sharing some energy with you, man. And I'm proud to just build business with my family. And, and it's very hard to transition from a, a different society, a different country, different roots, culture to come to another culture and another environment and adapt. A lot of times these kids ain't fair, man. Bullying, teasing, hazing, right. everything. But you know what? We survived all the Rise to the occasion. Remember? Look at ourselves and say we strong. We still could We made it through that East New York. A lot of brothers didn't make it through that. Yeah, we have, many, we have many folks that, that died yes. through the situation. At an early age. And locked in jail for life. Yes. We grew up around those same terrible situations. We're survivors yes. right here. And we ain't playing. We're driving tribulation. I went through life, man. Yeah, I mean. Multiple assassination attempts on my life just because I was a good brother and I would not leave a brother behind. If I grew up with you, you was my friend. And we, I still got everybody I grew up with. We're still good friends. They know my mother. They know my father. They know everybody. They can't say nothing bad about me. You know? None of that. I stood solid, I stood sturdy with a lot of people. And that's why, you know, I made it to see this age. I'll be 44, God spared my life this year. Be, not I, a lot of people can say no fuck fuck shit, but and I'm be, not perfect, but you know. I'll be, and I'll be 47. So we've been, literally just been in uh, New York City, been in America for 35 years. Yes. And this year will be 37 yes. years. And making it. So no. it, it, it's 35 years. It was 88, so you do the math. Yes. <laughs> Dece December 1988, I would never forget the day. And I raised four kids. Yeah. One is 22 years old right now, TSA worker. No kids. I ain't even a grandfather yet. Another baby, 11 years old, a four year old and a three year old. You know? 
trying to make it through life. You know, you and understand this, me? And this is my one. Raise these kids. This is my one and only right here that I drag, I drag all over the world. <laughs> and, and, get, and this dude give me a hard time sometimes. And you know, sometimes it's rough with tour, tours and other people. Yes, yes. And he give me a hard time, but I love him to death, man. I wouldn't trade him for nobody. And he's one of the greatest, one of the greatest. Him, uh, we have a young, young Jelani. Upcoming genius, right? Young here. Jelani and young Omari. Yes. Jelani, Omari. Come on, come on. They're at school, my so son, my that's my niece baby. and nephews. And Omari and from Jelani. my sister. Uh, you know, those are our family, and we're looking to create a beautiful future for them. And uh, he's all excited. He's all, we want to be the next Roy Jones Jr. Because uh, 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 this guy stays in a boxing gym. So, family, we're just doing all more positive stuff and we just want more love and support from our folks and we're going to do the right thing and be an example of black business, black power, black nation builder, black enterprise, black family, and ultimately family, it's a world of pan-Africanism and pan us connecting and making it strong to where we as a people can compete and evolve and build, build exceptional family enterprises like this. We was at the Hilton when we was in Casablanca, Morocco. When we was in South Africa, we say that hotels that was owned by the Marriott. These are family enterprises, and we're looking to do the same thing, and we're looking to enterprise. So family, appreciate your love and support, and if you need any technical or business support, or any assistance from professionals, my whole family, that's what we do. Yes. Let's keep it strong. Yes.